This is how you change color in Photoshop using a hue saturation adjustment layer. All right, so let me just start by saying that obviously the more solid your color is of the thing that you want to change, the easier this effect is going to be. But I'm going to show you how to deal with a little bit more of a range of color, especially if you have that same color like in the background and stuff. I'm going to show you how to deal with that over here on the next one. But let's just go through the basics here on this Game Boy one. So once you have your image, all you have to do is go over to this little half circle thing here, click on it and add a hue slash saturation adjustment layer. It's going to pop in right here. Right now it's on master. So whatever we slide here is going to change the whole image. In this case, it's actually pretty good for this one because I don't have any other colors outside the parameters of what I want to change. So this is like pretty much black and white back here. But if I really crank it, you can see that it does add some like green and stuff into the background. So we're going to isolate the color instead. So I'm going to bring that back to zero plus one. And right here, instead of master, I'm going to click on this little hand and then I'm going to go over to sample size right here. I have mine set to five by five average. You can pick any one you want, but I think that one's a good one. And then just click around here. That's going to pick five pixels kind of around this one pixel that I pick. So I'm going to click that one and that selects a color that brings me over to reds here instead of master. So now when I slide this, it's only going to affect what was red. And if you stay close to it, like see going to pink, it looks good. And as you go, you know, blue looks fine. But as we go further, this one looks terrible. So if that was the color that you wanted, then you're gonna have to adjust this down here. So this is the two little ones here. This is the range of color that's being affected. And then these two are kind of like the, the blend between the other colors. So I'm gonna click this one and I'm gonna slide it a little bit left until it looks good until all those speckles and stuff are gone. You can adjust this as well, see if that does anything for you. So for me, bringing it too close adds the speckles back. So I gotta make sure I'm out, like fading it out a little bit. And on this side, I don't think this is gonna do much. So play around with these until you get the range that you want. Then all you have to do is slide and pick the color that you want. So I'm gonna make it kind of like a purple color. The only thing you might notice as well is that these colors, like of Game Boy Color, these letters are changing as I slide it as well, especially the ones that were closest to the red that we started with. So in order to eliminate that, if you don't want something to change, then all you have to do is go back over to your mask, click on it, and then go to your brush and then use a black brush right here. So click on it and slide to black if you don't have it. Up here is where you change the size and hardness of your brush. This is a blurry brush. This is kind of a solid edge brush. I'm going to go just somewhere in here because it doesn't really matter for mine. And you're just going to paint over any area that you don't want to change with the hue saturation slider. So I'm just going to paint over those right there. That's about all that in this image I don't want to change. You can see it puts a black little blotch right there. That means it punches a hole through right there. So we consistently see the original image and the hue saturation slider doesn't affect it. So now if I click back on this little icon here, and I go back into reds, that's very important, go back into the setting that you are changing. Now when I slide it, you can see those letters don't change anymore. And then obviously you can change saturation and lightness as well. Typically you just wanna drop your saturation a little bit and your lightness probably as well. But for saturation, if your selection is good and you drop it all the way, you can get a black and white version, but see the name like Game Boy Color is still in color because it's not included in the selection. And obviously you can over crank it too, but that is a very specialized thing. So I'm just gonna keep it dropped a little bit. For lightness, if you drop it, you can create a black object, in this case, the Game Boy, or if you crank it, you can get a white one, which is a pretty cool effect either way. Next, I'm gonna show you what to do with an image that's a little more complicated, but the start is exactly the same. You just go over to the little half circle thing, click on it, add a hue saturation adjustment layer, go up here to the hand, click on it, select your sample size, click on a spot. This time it goes to yellows instead of reds, and then you start sliding. Now, if you notice this time, what makes it more complicated is the fact that as I slide this, it's not only changing the color of Pikachu, but also of the grass, because if I go back to the middle here, yellow and green are very close to each other on the color wheel. So if I look over here, of the section that was selected, green is kind of included in that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is 
crank this hue so I get a, kind of an extreme look. And then I'm gonna try and get rid of the green. So I'm gonna take this slider and just move it left. And you can already see that the grass is starting to come back and it's gonna get rid of the kind of whatever the hue saturation was doing because it won't affect green anymore because I've taken it out of the selection, out of the range. Now, if I zoom in to the grass, you're gonna see that there is still is like little speckles that are affected by it. We're gonna get rid of that later. So just ignore that for now. On the other side, I'm gonna slide this over to get kind of a solid, you know, blue maybe right there. So this is the extreme. So if I wanted blue, I would have to play around with this more. But if I slide it back a little bit, this is kind of the look that I want. I want kind of a pinky purple one. So I'm gonna go there before I continue to mess with these. So maybe, so you gotta decide on that red dot. The further away I go, the more it's gonna be included within with whatever I affect with hue saturation. So if I slide this, now you can see the dot is kind of changing its color a little bit as I move it. But if I bring this over, it's gonna keep it to be red because I'm kind of eliminating the red out of the equation there. So just kind of play around until you get kind of the look that you want. Now I can still kind of maneuver it and see what other looks I get. I think I still like this kind of look like maybe right there looks pretty good. Now to get rid of the speckles that were in the grass or if you have anything else that was affected by the hue saturation. So maybe like the skin on a person. I'm gonna go over here really quick to kind of show you what I mean. And I'm gonna go a really fast one here. So hue saturation, I'm gonna pick the picker. I'm gonna click on this and it's brown. So it's very similar to her skin tone. So as I start to slide this, you can see her face is gonna to change too. So if I wanted her shirt to be purple like that, I would have to crank it. I could try and mess with things here. So I could bring this back you know, do it, but it's so close to her skin tone that I'm not really gonna have that great of results. So what you're gonna do is go over here to the fourth tool down, quick selection tool. If you don't see it, you might see magic wand, click on it, go to select subject. Photoshop's gonna do a pretty good job of selecting it. And then you wanna eliminate out of this selection what you don't want by using this minus. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger and I'm gonna paint her head out of this because I don't want her head affected. So I kind of lost some right there. I'm gonna put it back with the plus. So anything that you lose, put back with the plus. Anything that you don't want, use the minus to get rid of. For right now, I'm not gonna make it perfect, perfect, um, but you should take your time to make it a little bit better than I am. Then just go up to select and mask and you can see that this, the shirt, is the only thing that's gonna be affected now. You can mess around with these things. I might bump radius, smooth. I'm gonna show this a little bit later. And then down here, output to, this is the important part, output to a layer mask, and then click OK. That's gonna put that layer mask on the hue saturation. And you can see that whatever's in white, that's what we kept that's being affected by the hue saturation. And whatever's in black is not being affected. So we kept her skin tone, but we were able to affect the shirt. So now if I click on this, we can see that only the shirt changes. So if we go back to Pikachu, that's essentially what we're gonna do is the exact same thing. So we're gonna go over to the quick selection tool. We're gonna go select subject. It's gonna select Pikachu. We'll go into select and mask. In here, I might go up a little bit. I might go to radius. If you don't see this red look, then it's just right here. I just like using overlay. You might have it on onion skin or something else. So go to overlay if you want, and you can crank the opacity to what you need right there. I'm gonna bump the radius just a little bit because he's got some like fur along the edges there. And then like I did last time, I'm just gonna smooth it just a bit and then go down here, output to, change it to layer mask, click okay. And then now when we zoom into the grass, we are gonna see that all those little speckles are gone, except the ones that are right here along where Pikachu meets the grass. So if you have ones like that, for me, for this grass, the only way to get rid of that really is to go back on the mask, go to my brush tool, make sure out of these, it's a black one in the foreground. So click on that and go to black. And I'm gonna go right down here to one pixel. And really, I'm just gonna paint, I'm gonna even zoom in even more. And with black, I'm just gonna paint over every single little blade of grass to try and get rid of 
the speckleness because basically what I'm doing is every little bit, every little pixel that I'm drawing in here, I'm punching another little hole through to seeing the original image. So I would have to go along and do every single little blade of grass until I've done all of them. Oh, and if you make a mistake, so I'm gonna go back here like this and crank this up. If you're doing something like this and you make a mistake where you bring back too much, then just flick this to white. So right now it's on black, black punches the hole through, white brings back. So you can just paint with white and bring that back. And obviously at this point, feel free to make whatever other adjustments you want, including going back in and messing with your hue saturation sliders again. So, but just remember, instead of master, you're gonna go back into yellows or whatever color yours was and mess around here. So for me, this is just a little overexposed up there. So I'm gonna maybe bring this one over this slider to kind of get rid of that. That looks a little bit better. If you want, you can also drop your saturation and lightness a little bit. That usually helps with the final look. Remember, if you go all the way down, you can make it black and white for just the selection. And if you crank it up, you can oversaturate it. So I'm just gonna drop it a little bit. And then for lightness, you can make it a black Pikachu if you want, or a white one. And then obviously you can add any adjustment layers you want as well. So if I click this little half circle, let's just pick a curves as an example. You can either apply it to the entire image, like a global adjustment by just adjusting it like this, you know, doing whatever you're gonna do. I'm just gonna make a little S. Or if you just want it to be applied to the object or the subject like Pikachu here, all you have to do is steal this mask. So to do that, just hold Alt or Option, click on that mask and drag it to the other one. It's gonna say replace layer mask, click yes. And now it's just gonna have the exact same mask here and only apply the curves to Pikachu. So this is before and this is after. Now if I hold Alt or Option and click on the eyeball next to the original image, you can see that that's our original Pikachu and this is the color changed one. If that method didn't work for you, maybe try one of the videos that's linked on the screen right now. It might work better, it might work worse, just depends on your project.